or three. We're going up against Legion today. I'm starting out on path six in section one here. I have this long shot. The node is spiked armor and combat deja vu. So anytime I hit him, there's a chance for him to get a physical resistance buff. And when he has that, if I crit, it's going to deal damage back to me. Um, and then if I use the same basic attack twice in a row, it, uh, it's going to give him a prowess puncture charge, which is going to give his specials block penetration. So I actually think this is decent placement just because sometimes you don't want to try and dex long shot specials. You just want to block them to be safe so you don't get melted in case he uh, nullifies the dex buff. But I'm going to try to avoid all of that and I'm going to hit his block to build up my ruptures. I'm going to push him over a bar of power with a heavy while he's stunned so I can try to remove some of his karma because hitting his block is going to build his karma up and it's going to trigger pure of heart a couple times in this fight. Um, so that way I can remove some of it and not really have to worry about uh, blocking his specials if I want to. But I'm actually not going to let him get more than one anyway. And I push him over a bar of power there with a heavy to uh, burst my ruptures and take him down. And then next up, I have this Penny on Power Snack. Um, it's been a while since I've taken her here with Spidey. I think it was like early last season, I believe, was the last time, although I might be wrong. But the game plan for this one is I'm going to hit her block to remove her Sync Shield. And because I have a Wither debuff on her, that's going to naturally build my Ruptures. Um, and then I just want to make sure that I maintain my wither for the halfway point of the fight. So that when backup recovery triggers, I don't have to worry about her getting a ton of power. And uh, that's pretty much the gist of it. So I have a medium set of boosts on today. Um, I went with 20s across the board. 20% health, 20% attack, 20% champ. Um, I like to do it that way. So when I use my 30% boosts, I'm using a 15% attack. And, uh, that way it keeps my mid-level boosting and my high-level boosting relatively close. And uh, I think it's just a personal preference thing. So I drop my special two there, get some nice chunky damage. And now I'm just trying to uh, remove her sync shield again because she has 10 spider sense charges. I think that's an 8% chance per charge or something like that to auto block. So I don't want to hit a regular. I could parry heavy because I have a white mags pre-fight on this fight, but I just opted to slow play it. Do it nice and safe. I wasn't really concerned with time this war. Um, I was just concerned with playing well, not getting hit and uh, making sure that I soloed my fights. And then we push her over the power threshold and she goes down. So next up, I have this Sassy on 26. Um, this note is Window of Opportunity Stun. And uh, I think Defective Defense. So I can't stun him for the first 12 seconds of the fight or it'll get reflected back to me. Um, and I can't let him hit my block or I'll get a uh, Disorient on me. So I'm just going to hit his block while I wait for the window of opportunity timer to go away. And now it's gone. So I parry him. I heavy. And that's going to be the only hit that I land in this fight. The rest of it's just going to be making sure that I pause my exhaustion and wither. And uh, let my ruptures do all the damage. That way I don't have to worry about getting a disorient on me. I don't have to worry about possibly not paying attention to the stun timer. And uh, the exhaustion is going to stop him from getting any more rage stacks. He was able to get three while I waited out the, uh, the stun timer. But he won't get any more from this point on. So he won't trigger wrath. So it's just a matter of uh, trying to figure out how to get the AI to turtle up. Sometimes he, he doesn't want to. So I just make sure that I'm blocking constantly. It, that tends to get them to back off at some point. And then 
just keep hitting his block. Just keep building those ruptures, making sure they stay on and uh, getting some burst damage when I push him past a uh, power threshold. down he goes so I didn't use any uh, gray boosts or science boosts for my first three fights there but moving into section two on path eight here I'm gonna use a 200% science boost and a power start one and I'm gonna make sure that I use them for my next three fights um, well the power start one that is so I used a white mags on this Mordo so that I could stun him and my strategy was, I just want to make sure that I get to my special two and I'm hitting him when he gets his first uh, power gain buff. And then that works out perfectly. I drop the special, I get almost a special two back. And then my combo brings me there. I drop my next one and down he goes. And then this Gilly here, she's on rich get richer power gain, just like that Mordor was. And, uh, I'm going to reverse her rich get richer power from the armor um, and I'm going to make sure that I get to my special too and get another wither up before she gets a special. I was hoping to not let her get any specials in this fight whatsoever but she ends up getting one when I throw my special too and uh, I tried turtling up after it but it didn't work. She threw it anyway. Uh, she was pretty much dead at that point, so it didn't really matter. Uh, one thing I noticed in that Mordo fight that was actually kind of cool was the node itself, if you land a parry, it gives you an armor. And uh, because Spidey can't get buffs, uh, I think it, it interacted with his buff pausing or his debuff pausing ability because when I parried Mordo, it, uh, it paused my debuffs and it acted like I, I triggered Dex. So... I thought that was actually a, a pretty cool little discovery. I had never noticed that uh, that it worked like that before. So this surfer here, it's pretty much like taking a scroll on this node. Uh, when I take scroll though, I, I tend to hit his block a lot and reverse his power. And I thought that that's what I was gonna do with this surfer, but then I noticed he was, he almost had the same AI set as a uh, mojo where he plays right into the dash back parry. So when I saw that he was doing that, I just stuck with it and uh, it worked out really well. I was gonna try to like get him to turtle up kind of like the sassy fight, but he was just being really aggressive. So I was just using it to my advantage. Got me to a lot of specials and uh, he's gonna go down nice and quick. Just finish it off here with combos. And now moving into section three, I have the normal Mangog that I take. I have a 200% science power back boost on. Um, I'm not using a special boost or a power start one for this fight though. I figured out that I don't really need them. I'm only going to throw one or two special twos in this fight. And uh, it's really not needed here. So I'm trying to save them for fights that I actually need them for. So without a power start one, the way that I do this fight is I try to get to five exhaustions as quick as possible. I found that I can normally get three before he gets to a special one. And then I bait that out. And then I get two more. And now I'm going to drop my special two, which is going to give him another special, but this is the last special he's going to get in the fight. So bait that out of him real quick. And at this point, I'm reversing his power. Whereas with one wither and three exhaustions, I was just keeping his power steady. Um, so he was only getting power from being hit, not from his passive power gain. So now that I'm reversing it, I'm just hitting his block to build ruptures and just keep getting the rupture bursts. And that's how I'm gonna take him down here. And then last up, I have the boss, it's a Tigra. And I'm gonna use an invuln boost for it. I really didn't need to, um, but 
but I thought that I was most likely going to get backed up in this fight just because her heavies cover a lot of ground, her specials cover a lot of ground, and uh, I was going to have to bait heavies for openings. So I just put it on as a kind of a safety net, but with the reduced damage that Spidey takes on the boss node, it, it really wasn't necessary. Um, I don't usually use a lot of emblems though, so I think I might have had one in the bin, I'm not sure. So, my strategy for this one was to try and get her to her side of the map. She'd get an exhaustion on her as soon as possible so that her specials aren't unblockable. And then I got hit with that special one and I got backed up. So, now I'm stuck in the corner, but she pushed me to my special too, so that gave me an opening to get out. And then she just pushes me right back into the corner. I'm taking heavy shots to the face, but then she decides to throw a special and that gives me an opening to combo my way out. And now it seems like she's very special happy. So I was, I was pretty glad about that because it's a lot easier to get openings when she throws her special one than it is her heavy. Um, it's a couple dash backs for the heavy and uh, the special one you can almost choose how far you want to give her. Um, and because it's not unblockable, you can, you can almost just stand there if you want. But the fight's going really well at this point. And uh, she's about to go down in a second here. I'm going to drop my special too. And I think it's going to be a couple hits after this. And then she's going to drop. And uh, down she goes. So we ended up winning this one. Uh, 150 and 5 to 150 and 12 and uh, I hadn't checked the final score yet I had a very busy day at work but uh, I actually got an MVP that's cool so that is all that she wrote and uh, yeah good luck to Legion on the season and hopefully we can uh, get back on track with this win and secure a top 10 Thank you very much for watching.